33, Alabama the ball, first and 10 at the Notre Dame 30. Here's Bradley, six of eight passing. Going long, Newsom is open, it's a touchdown for Alabama. 30 yards, and that tightens up the score now here in South Bend. Calm and man the man coverage that time, and uh, Rustic had to stay on Newsom, and that's a tough chore. One of the things that they did is they blocked well on the play. They blocked everybody. Watch Newsom just go down the field, make a fake to the outside, then drive back inside. Rustic gets turned. Newsom got the action on him now. And of course, the protection was there, even though uh, Notre Dame was coming with an aggressive defense. Well, uh, a nice drive by Alabama consumed 243, 68 yards in six plays. And era again, the start of a period, we have a score. So they go for two. They go for two. 21 to 16, second play of the final quarter. And they're going to get the block, and there's two by Newsom. Newsom, who right. just figured in on eight points for the tie. So that brings it within a field goal of a tie. Wow. We asked for an exciting fourth quarter era, and we have it. We'll return as Notre Dame now leads by only 21 to 18. Now, he didn't have a chance to kick the extra point as Alabama was successful on two. Now it's 21 to 18. Terry Urich has the ball for Notre Dame at the 10. Number 40 cuts out to the 20. He cuts down to the 30, and he comes out to the 42. What a great run by Urich and the kicker. Bucky Berry made the tackle as half. The end of the third, 21-10, and now Alabama has come within three points of Notre Dame. Here's a third down and three for the Fighting Irish. And a great pass to sure-fingered Ken McAfee for the Notre Dame first down. Great play, but I think the significant uh, thing that happened on this drive, here's the replay of it. Ken McAfee, with a, after the fake by uh, Slager, just comes underneath the linebackers and Slater drills it in there. And I think the Uric uh, kickoff return was very significant. He brought it out to the 41 and really helped the field position. There's that Oklahoma score. First quarter, Missouri leading Oklahoma 7-3. to three. All the scores following this game on the Prudential College scoreboard. Third down and six. Notre Dame is leading Alabama 21-18. to 18. Chris, it looks like they're trying to keep it on the ground and maybe get a, uh, get a field position opportunity to to force a touchdown on the part of uh, Alabama. Let's see whether he throws it or not. The lone setback is Willard Browner, number 24. Ferguson is out. Now he blocks for Slager. Slager on the loose. A loose ball, and hard. Alabama recovers a Notre Dame fumble. Hit hard was the fine Notre Dame quarterback who was shaken up. Rick Slager, number 11. Colenzo Hubbard, number 69 covered the ball. There he is. So Alabama gets the ball back. See an ABC. Howard Cosell is the host. That's at nine tonight. Rusty Lish is in the lineup at quarterback for Notre Dame because as we indicated, Slager was shaken up on the fumble. He hands off to Ferguson from the 43. Ferguson is out to about the 46, the Notre Dame 46. About nine minutes to go. Notre Dame leading Alabama 21 to 18. And we've just received word from the bench that Rick Slager, the fine Notre Dame quarterback, has a shoulder injury and will not be back in the game. So now it's up to sophomore Rusty Lish, number six, of Belleville, Illinois. And look at that. Well. <laughs> That's what we call a, a quarterback naked. All the faking and everything went to the left, and he just kept the ball to the right. Got the corner, there was no contain, and what a big play. All right, Bill, Notre Dame now for its 15th third down try. They are seven of 14. Third and 10, a big one. Lish. Trapped. Tom Doman, the intended receiver, the pass was just a little short. So that brings up now a fourth down and 10 era. First, it looks like about a 48-yard field goal. Yes, with Restick holding, Dave Reeve has been warming up on the sideline. We've been watching him. It's going to be a pretty good attempt, and no. no good. So the spot of the kick, 38 plus the 10 of the end zone, no good. 6-17 to go, and the game will return in a moment. Russ Brown will put a lot of pressure on again. He's really rushing the passer. 
And you're right, in this second half, Alabama's come back to see whether or not they can move the ball downfield. You wonder whether or not if they get in the field goal position, whether they'll go for the score or the touchdown, or All the right. field goal or the touchdown. Very good. Second down and 10 for Jeff Rutley. And a delay and a staggering run by Tony Nathan. He breaks away. He was stalled by Joe. Joe Restick finally made the tackle, but did you see that move by Nathan? How did he get out of that traffic? It looked like he was stopped there. Alabama has moved from the zone 20 to the Notre Dame 48 in three snaps. First down now, going to the far side is Plenick at number 87. 82 and number eight, Rick Neal are changing positions as Rutledge wants to throw. In traffic, oh, it's oh, caught oh. by Ozzie Newsom, who cut the touchdown pass and then ran the two-point play in. Ozzie Newsom, number 82, Browner and Bergmeier on the tackle. What a catch. He just, Ozzie Newsom just drives right straight down the field, looks over his left shoulder, looked like the Irish had it covered. Right there, Bergmeier turns his back on it. Newsom goes up, takes the ball out of the air. And a first down at the nine. All right, it'll be a first and goal for Alabama, trailing by three with 4.57 left in the game. Don't go away. First and goal for Notre Dame nine. Fourth quarter, Irish lead by three. A fake, a handoff, the run by Nathan. He is down to about the seven-yard line, maybe the six. He tried the left tackle. Off the bottom of the pile is Bergmeier, the strong safety. Jim Browner was also on the stop. It will now be second and goal from the seven. Alabama is challenging. Second and goal from the seven. Rutledge is rolling out. He looks. He's going to trigger into the end zone. It's intercepted by Jim Browner. And Jim Browner intercepts for Notre Dame. For a second time, the Irish intercept in the end zone. The Notre Dame student body, part of it, pours out onto the field to salute Jim Browner as the Alabama drive is stopped and Notre Dame takes over the football with a three-point lead. And Cavan was open all alone in the far corner. The quarterback, Rutledge, had all the time in the world on that play. No rush, but he threw it right into Jim Browner's. No, they're not calling a timeout now. Looked like they had too many men on the field. Lish is rolling out. He's going to run across the 20. He's across the 25, across the 30, and out to the 35-yard line. Rusty Lish runs ahead for a first down. A 20-yard gain on the play and a first down by sophomore Rusty Lish. The clock runs and Notre Dame maintains possession. Very, very important run by Rusty Lish from Belleville, Illinois. Uh, Lish has rushed for 41 yards on only two carries. Wow. Alabama will get the ball back, trailing Notre Dame 21-18 in the fourth quarter. Fauzi Newsom, the lone safety for Alabama, and the Tide will have the block on, the block rush coming up. Here is the snap from Meyer. It's a perfect snap. Restick hits the ball, hits it high. Newsom is forced into a fair catch at his 22, and there Alabama goes on offense. Now it's first and 10 for Bama. Rutledge looks. He's rolling out. Here comes the rush. He gets it away just as he's hit. He completes the pass, and then the intercom complete as Restick makes a driving hit on the fullback, Johnny Davis. Davis had the ball. Restick hammered him. He lost the ball. It's incomplete. It will be second down and 10 for Alabama at the Tide's 22-yard line. And Ken Dyke just waffled Rutledge in the backfield on about the 10-yard line. Rutledge was lucky to get the ball away. It is second and 10 for Bama. Rutledge is rolling out. He stops. He looks. Here comes Browner. He's hit again. A free football. Now they're rolling an incomplete pass. It's loose in the Alabama end zone. The official blows the play dead. Booze Cascade down. They thought it was a fumble. But Rutledge got his arm forward. It was Browner who hit him again. A great play by Ross Browner. And that will bring up third down and 10 for Alabama at the Tides, 22. Three-point deficit for the Tide. And here is Rutledge rolling the pass. He's looking long. He fires in the flat. The ball is caught for a first down at the Notre Dame, 42. Newsom running a down pattern, turned out, and caught the ball diving at the Bama, 42. And so... With 1.56 to play in the game, Alabama gets the first down and keeps its drive alive. And the way they moved that ball so far in this football game, I wouldn't take anything away from Alabama right now. 
It is first and ten now for the Crimson Tide. Rutledge looks. He throws hard. It's incomplete. He triggered the ball over the middle, down to the 42-yard line of Notre Dame. Running Alabama, third and five. Rutledge drops. Here comes Fry. Browder gets him. He fumbled the ball, I think. He might have fumbled the ball, but Notre Dame stops him for a loss. No, Rutledge, who covered his own fumble, but Notre Dame makes the sack. Browder and Fry got him. Fourth down now for Alabama, fourth and 10 at their 42, and they call timeout with 48 seconds to play. In the game and wide to the left is Rick Neal. Here is Rutledge dropping the throw. He flips the pass out. Catching the ball for Alabama is Pete Cavan, and he is going to be knocked down way short of a first down. He got about five yards. It'll be third down and five coming up. He took a swing pass to the right flank and tried to elude the Notre Dame tacklers, but Heimquetter took a stand and got him. Now we have another big third down call for Bear Bryant and his staff. The drama of this game has been extraordinary. Not that long ago, Alabama was down first in goal at the Notre Dame nine, trailing by three. And Notre Dame came up with a big interception. Jim Browner got it. Alabama's fought back to get possession. Now, 48 seconds. Here's Bama out of the huddle. Rutledge is dropping to throw. Here comes Browner. He throws the ball. Newsom loses the ball. Incomplete. Notre Dame takes over with 43 seconds to play. Newsom had the ball in his hands at the 47-yard line, and Doug Becker, a junior linebacker from Hamilton, Ohio, put the big hit. The big hurt shook his whole foundation and shook the ball free. And Notre Dame takes over the football. Not only that, Doug Becker, known as the hardest hitter on the Notre Dame team, hit him from behind, but also hitting him in front was Bob Golick. There's not a man in the country that could have held on to that. Doug Becker's the hardest hitter they've got. Now List just falls on the ball as Notre Dame is going to run the clock out. Notre Dame with 36 seconds left to play. They're just going to run the clock out. Luther Bradley was in the game. He took a snap from center and just ran the ball down. And whatever it is, it runs the clock out. There is the gun. The student body flies out onto the field. And the final score is Notre Dame 21, Alabama 18. We'll present the wrap-up of today's game after this for Regency Electronics.